Uh, welcome everybody. Join for the another session of one question a day. The question today is Meckel's cartilage. For this, the key is we need to write where the place where it is found. We have to say with what is the arch cartilage or the cartilage of which arch, the week at which it is formed, from which structures, which structure it gives rise to, at which week, how it acts as a scaffold for the mandible, and persistence of this cartilage in the inner ear bones, how mandibles develops from this, including the type of the ossifications. One important diagram is, apart from your mandible, you have to draw these two diagrams, how the Meckel cartilage offers the scaffold upon which the mandibular nerve divides into the lingual nerve, inferior alveolar nerve that divides into the incisor, mental nerve, how this serves as the area of ossifications, how the Meckel cartilage serves as the uh, base upon which the mandible develops. That is the key part. And the most important thing is every brachial arch is made up of an acto outer ectoderm, inner endoderm and middle mesenchyme derived from the lateral plate mesoderm surrounded by ectomesenchymal cells condensed to form a bud of cartilage called of the arch of the cartilage. And the arch of first cartilage is the Meckel's cartilage. They form the lower jaw or contribute to the formation of lower jaw in its primitive vertebrae. Primitive vertebrae. In humans, they are all in close proximal relationship with the mandibular development, but does not contribute much towards the development. There's a very small contribution, minor contribution for the endochondral ossification part. At six weeks of human intrauterine life, the Meckel cartilage developed into a solid rod of island cartilage that extends from the optic capsule to the midline of fused mandibular process. Okay, medial to this cartilage, the lingual branch of the mandibular nerve passes and lateral to it, to the intraalveolar branches pass, which further branches into the incisor branch and the mental branch. Remember the diagram. The mandibular branch, inferior alveolar branches to the incisor branch and the mental branch. And this is the first center of ossifications. And here is another center of ossifications. Okay, all this happens at the sixth week of life. Medial to this cartilage is the lingual branch of mandibular nerve that passes and lateral to it is the infraalveolar nerve branch that pass with the further branches into the incisor branch and the mental branch. Once the mandible starts to form, the posterior part of the cartilage forms the malleus and the spinomandibular ligament. From the spinoid till the branching of the mandibular nerve, the cartilage is totally lost, but fibrocells persist as the part of the spinomandibular ligament. From the lingual branch, the Meckel cartilage is resorbed. Forward to the slime until the midline, the cartilage part is persist and contribute towards the mandibular development by ectomesenchymal ossifications. To recapitulate, the posterior part gives rise to the malleus in incus, whereas the central part contributes, the posterior part of the central part contributes to the anterior part of the malleus and part of the mandibular, spinomandibular ligament, whereas the anterior part can Con is completely resorbed and last, whereas the anterior part contributes to the mandibular symphysis that later, by around the age of one, fuses to, to form the mandible into a single bone. With that, we come to the end of this session. Join and stay connected with this channel for more questions.